Hello guys, this is Pawn from Ambitronics. So uh, in the last video, as we have seen like how we can run our Python script in uh, VS Code editor. Now I'll show you how we can uh, split our um, uh, Python script uh, into multiple Python script, just like in C we have .c file and .h file. But here we don't have uh, that type of concept like uh, uh, two different extension. Uh, here we have only .py extension only. But still we can uh, split our Python code so that we can uh, organize our code uh, pretty much uh, uh, like in a read um, that way like so that anyone can understand our program because in if everything because if you have we are working in a large project and you have uh, all the file all the lines in single file then it will look very uh, you know cumbersome so okay so for that uh, what we need to do we just uh, I'll, I'll, I have three um, I have one program and I have split it into three parts so uh, I'll just explain you in how many ways we can do and achieve that thing so okay so what I'll do I'll just go to my uh, first this uh, first script and here I'll just uh, let's say copy this thing and uh, I'm just uh, saying like uh, print running uh, script 1 and then I'm saying print running script 2 and uh, running script 1 when I'm printing and then I'll just call one function and that function simply I'll just say this uh, function uh, and uh, uh, function 1 sorry I'll just say this this way and then I'll just copy this thing and here I'll just paste and then function 2 now uh, we will again uh, write one more thing like script uh, one dot pi will uh, create one more file and hit enter here now and here, here we'll just copy the content of that uh, uh, function so uh, script one in a script one we have we will have function one so I'll just copy that and in script one and now you can see this I have defined this function one uh, where we are called that function we are calling here and now again I'll just uh, create one more file script two dot pi and uh, I'll just uh, again copy this uh, content here in this uh, script two dot pi and here I am just copying it uh, here you can see now uh, as you can see now in the main.py still we are just uh, seeing this error because uh, we didn't import it yet uh, those uh, functions from here so uh, how many ways we can do that thing so I'll just uh, first uh, method would be from uh, from your file name that is script one uh, import simply function name if you uh, write function uh, one so it will automatically get uh, imported so here you can see this uh, the yellow uh, thing uh, has gone that, uh, that that was showing the error thing kind of thing now it's gone now same you just copy this thing and you'll just paste this thing and here you need to just go to function 2 and here all you need to do is script 2 and now the second thing is also gone so simply uh, if you just run this thing so what you need to do uh, you always have, should be in the main.py and from there only you have to run the script otherwise it will not uh, it will not run so what you need to do you just need to run this thing if you'll run uh, uh, you are getting errors uh, we are getting some errors let's um, cannot import function from script one okay okay so i understood uh, the thing uh, actually these uh, these script one and script two are not uh, saved so first we need to control us and save uh, these things uh, now we will run uh, this thing and we will not get any error so here you can see uh, this is the output uh, uh running script one this is his function one from script one running script two this is function two from script two so uh these are the way uh this is our code uh now uh, uh there is another way you can do 
if you have uh, multiple things are there in uh, script one and mul uh, other multiple things are there in script two you can by simply put a star on it and, uh, and then also you can access all then then you can access all the things whatever they are in the uh, script one and script two so if i'll just say script one has uh, this thing and uh, here i'm just um, uh, telling like x equals to uh, 20 and uh, on this x equals 20 is in a script one and I'm painting uh, that x uh, thing here in this uh, let's say print um, f uh, is for format as where and uh, I'm just telling x is Mm, then I'm just saying like uh, this thing and then curly braces and then your variable name uh, and then that is x only and here that variable name will come x and here uh, if I just run this thing now and let's see what happens I don't know what will happen but let's see so here you can see uh, okay uh, we'll just uh, put it in the function itself so here you can see uh, now x is uh, is 20 uh, is also printed uh, but uh, one thing I must tell you this approach is not uh, good because uh, what happens in this case uh, all the things whatever they are in the script 1 and script 2 it will just uh, directly uh, it will just get uh, in the uh, it will just come uh, in the main.py so uh, you uh, following those all those variables are uh, very tricky in this uh, scenario so what we can do we can also do one more thing like if i'll just say script uh, this this thing uh, instead of this this script one is fine function is fine whatever you want individually you can uh, just uh, uh, import those things so from script one import uh, function one from script one import function one comma x so uh, if i will say like that that is also well and good so in this case also you will just see uh, this thing so in this case only though whatever the things you want to import you can directly import from script one import uh, function one and x instead of star okay so now we will just again uh, go back to our previous thing so from script to import uh, function two now uh, uh, what I want to tell you, I, we can uh, do another thing uh, in this case, uh, we can simply uh, remove this thing simply and we will say import script 1. Uh, okay, so we can say uh, like that. Now you can say some, uh, it, it is not, it is not enabled. So uh, how we can uh, approach now, access now uh, any function or variable uh, using this. So this is also very uh, beneficial thing because in this case you can directly uh, uh, using dot notation you can directly access those functions or variables. So function one is there in the script one. So what I'll do, I'll do just do script one dot. So as soon as I put dot, uh, this is enabled and here is it is uh, this is also enabled same way with the x x uh, what i'll do is script one dot so this is also enabled so script one dot x and uh, script one dot function so this way also we can uh, do this thing uh, so three ways are there and uh, this is the best way uh, where you can just import the function the, that file name and uh, using dot notation you can access the function variable uh, of those uh, variable on that file or uh, even function also you can using uh, dot notation you can access, access so if i'll just run it and same way similar output i'll get here as you can see 
uh, so this is the thing i hope you like this tutorial this in this tutorial you um, definitely you had learned uh, that um, how we can split uh, one particular python uh, large file into multiple files so if you have any large project and if you want to divide into multiple files uh, so that it will be organized so uh, here you can get how you can do uh, three methods are there so this import method is best method just uh, one file you only have to import and uh, using the, this dot notation you can access so uh, i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below thanks for watching this video